hello guys so in this video we will learn how we can configure a blink application which is already there in the app folder of the time us repository on our hardware device okay so for that i already uh, plug in the hardware that is telos b onto my laptop you can check whether the hardware is plugged in or not by the command mod list so i write here mod list enter so it will give the device id that is in the device folder there is an interface tty usb 0 and the name of the device so i already ins uh, inserted the telos b revision b telos revision b onto my laptop okay so yeah you you just directly plug in the device by usb connector and uh, uh, write the command mod list if the if the mod list is not shown the correct output then you go to the uh, virtual machine here and check for the removable devices always make sure that only one of the re this one this one is checked so you have to connect here if it is disconnected you need to connect it okay if if uh, if it is not shown by the modless command okay or you can also ch uh, if you if you are still any problem then you can uh, write in the comment section i will provide you a solution so when you have in inserted the hardware then the next uh, next thing is uh, what application we need to write so we need to go to the application folder so the we need to go to the directory first so because i have a tinyus repository in my home folder i go to the home folder then go to the app folder then list the all the apps because i need to configure the blink app i go to the blink folder okay this is my blink app let's see what is inside the blink app so blink app contain blink app c.nc that is a configuration file and the file with the app c is always a configuration file another file is blink c.nc it is the main file in which the all the components are there user defined components also there and some system defined components are there in app c some uh, system defined components are linked with or wired with the user defined component okay now every folder of the application contain a make file folder so make file is nothing but a batch file which will run all some of the commands in continuum okay so uh, in order to run multiple programs in one command we make a batch file in windows similarly we make a make file in linux supported systems okay so this make file will run all the required uh, commands which need to which is used to compile this uh, uh, application okay now so to to run this make file there is a command make so when you go inside the blink folder just write make space the hardware name so because i have used the hardware as telos b so i write here telos b make telos b so what it does it will compile all the files which is inside the your blink folder and make the object file so because i already compiled it the build folder is shown to you if you are using this uh, blink app or you are using uh, a newly downloaded repository from github this build build folder is not shown to you this build folder is shown when you have compiled the uh, these uh, blink c.nc and blink app c.nc so let's compile it so i just write enter make telos be enter so it will compiling the file it will compile uh, the file and it will show you that how much space it will going to take on the hardware so it is a rom size 2538 bytes and it is a ram size to run this program 56 bytes so this much of space which it, it, it will going to take when you write this program onto your hardware so once you compile the program and now our task is to write the object file on our hardware so because i uh, i want to write the program on hardware so 
so i i have i want some permissions to write something on my hardware so the permissions can be uh, given by the command ch mode so just write here sudo ch mode i give all the permissions to the device now device name is dev so you can find out the device name by mode list command so let's find out the device name first type here mode list enter okay so this is our device name slash dev tty usb 0 now write the command with the super user permissions ch mode ch mode then give all the permissions to this device usb sorry tty usb 0 okay so this will give all the permission to this device it will ask for the password you type here and code okay so all permissions are given now we need to install the application on the hardware so for that the command is make telos b that is hardware name reinstall bsl comma device name bsl means bootloader device and uh, the device name is tty usb zero okay so then enter so this will this command will erase the previous command uh, previously written program on your hardware and it will write the new program so in this blink command uh, the blink app uh, or your blink application will bring the each led one by one so after you have installed the uh, program on your hardware you can you can see the leds are blinking so i will show you the leds so okay so once you put the battery the leds are glowing like this so these leds are glowing it means the program is already uh, right on this chip and the leds are working okay so this is how you can write any program on your hardware mode